I'm on speed. But after so many shifts, it seems we're really getting the hang of it now. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and- Oh, hey there. We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really cool. <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I, I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainville, always calls me Chief. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. Hey, not so loud. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. All right, Chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. Did you just ask about the rules? <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Truth is, you two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told about this. Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, if you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? Oh. <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. Now, what? You mean... Even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, he disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. What the? How could that happen? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Wait, are you thinking that it was... Huh? Oh? You... <sighs> Listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? <sighs> All right, if you... Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a wasting. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it.
Let me have a look. Hmm, not bad. Right, here's your credit coupon. Seems we had a productive day. Hope we can make... Oh, the dawn of a new day. Paimon feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Right, we just need... Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in gear and get to work! Time's a-wasting! Oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coo- Sure! Let's just- Nice! We did well today! Let's keep it up- doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better- Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look! The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. Uh, how could this be fun? Hey, don't- Ugh, what should we do now? Wolsey wouldn't even give us the time of day. <sighs> Is he trying to hide something? Yeah, looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Yeah, Paima felt like some of the people here were a little strict. Oh, 
Oh, hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so... Sorry. I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Oh, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel... Wait, serious? Well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I... What? F please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. A little mishap. Huh. Paimon wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as- Shh. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? Oh, you mean she wasn't in the- Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegeween gets off to. Strange. Seedreen's always super dedicated. Uh, forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to. Follow the wind. The Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> no need to tease me. Just like His Grace said, paying attention to every little detail is the key to prosperity. Hmm. Maybe this is the true meaning. Time to go. Time to go. Siegeween? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? Hello, traveler. Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your ex- Uh... 
Are you talking about pets or people? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to con- See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is- Wait! Melazines can see that? <sighs> yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer to take care of your body and make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push- We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Just like His Grace said, paying attention to e Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Hey, look! There's something here! Hmm. Look, that suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Siege? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real- The Melisee perceive the world very differently from humans. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of- Whoa. This all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. And as for the notebook, what's the- Time to go. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work. Paima likes having more coupons? But no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area? No, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more lead. Oh, before I forget, this is- Huh? Credit coupons? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. You, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Okay. 
Okay, you should rest up. We'll be back at... So after working a few days straight, we got some strange meat in our li- mm. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? Really? <sighs> and it well? We'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. <sighs> the dawn of a new day. My mom feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing? What do you have planned for us? After working here so long, we're really starting to get... But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. Yeah, it's good to kick back. Afternoon. Knowing child, he must have been. 